Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bridget and welcome to my channel. So today is going to be a list of the top seven things that annoy your makeup artists or if you're a makeup artist, things that your clients do that probably annoy you. Now I don't want by anybody to get like offended by this video, it is just my personal opinion on things that bother me as a makeup artist that my clients do. I know a lot of people are probably be like, well they pay you, you can't really complain, but at the same time I'm trying to do my job and keep everything professional. So there are some things you just shouldn't do to your makeup artist and I'm sure a lot of these things other makeup artists find annoying as well. So let's just go ahead and get into this list and number seven is when your clients go through your stuff. Um, if I lay out a few things, try to get the base start of your face and you're like, oh what's this, picking up stuff on my desk while you're your face done just don't touch my stuff don't go through my stuff I pull out a bunch of palettes don't start looking through them just let me do this I have it number six is when your clients rush you uh, a lot of times clients come to me and they're like oh I'm running late I'm sorry and what do you want me to do about it I can't do your face in five minutes it's not gonna happen um, if you're running late I'm sorry I understand it happens, but I cannot do your face like super, super fast. If your lash doesn't dry and set properly while I'm holding it down, it'll come off in the middle of the night and then you'll blame me for doing a shoddy job. Just give me plenty of time to do what I need to do. Number five is when your client chews gum. If I'm going to do your face, I don't need you smacking around. Just don't chew gum when you're going to your makeup artist. It's just unprofessional. And I don't want to see you smacking around gum all day. Number four kind of goes hand in hand with the gum thing. It's don't talk on the phone while you are getting your face done. I have had this happen to me where I do someone's foundation and concealer. And I'm about to set it with a powder and they decide to pick up the phone and like press it against their face. Like, you don't see an issue here? I have to set your face so it doesn't come off and it just gets stuck to their phone and I have to re-blend it and everything just no and then if I'm trying to do your lips and you're just talking and it's impossible and just don't talk on the phone if you want to text and think that's fine but number three is when your client does not know how to move their head or does not listen to you this is one of the most annoying things that happen every almost every single time I do someone's face. They'll just be holding their head down and expect me to just blend everything and like I can't get underneath here. I'm not going to sit on the floor the entire time. Just if I tell you to lift your head up don't just go. Lift your head up, face me, keep it straight forward. If I tell you to look up, look up with your eyes and not your entire head. Just listen to the directions I need you to go to if the light is bothering you, I understand. However, I do need to be able to see what I'm working on and need you to move your head in the correct direction. So, number two most annoying thing your clients do is ask the price after you've already done their face. Now, I have a pricing list on my website. I Every time someone wants their face done, I tell them how much it is. So you should not be asking me like how much do you charge after I've already done it because if you come low or short on money there is going to be a huge issue because makeup is not cheap and my time and effort is not cheap I'm not gonna sit here and be gypped by someone who didn't come prepared but they wanted my attention the number one most annoying thing that your clients will do is not know anything about what they want um, a lot of times if someone has like really, really, really hooded eyes and they're like, I want a really high, bold, thick wing. Well, I'm sorry that a thick wing is not going to work out. Um, also things like, oh, I want this like princessy look, but I also want something kind of neon and I want something kind of bright, but like sexy, subtle, natural, but bold. No, just tell me what you want. Or tell me what colors you're wearing for the night, day, event, and I will work around that. But don't give me like 12 ideas and expect me to know what you mean. 
Reference pictures are fine, but just know that not every type of makeup is going to work for every shape of face and style. So just be aware of that. And you're not going to look exactly like an Instagram model every single time. It just depends on your face. You can look absolutely gorgeous, and you probably will, but you can't look exactly like someone else. And that's pretty much it, you guys. That is the seven most annoying thing that your clients do for a makeup artist. And I just hope you guys didn't get offended by this. It wasn't directed at one person. I've done faces for, like, makeup and then used to do special effects makeup as well. So, all type of makeup clients. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I put out five videos a week. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!